Good afternoon, Jerome Colton here from Crazy Canucks Performance, back again with another uh, review and installation video. This time we're going to look at the new Polaris Lock and Ride Flex tunnel bag options. So this is the new Lock and Ride Flex. We've got an uh, 8 inch low bag, an 8 inch tall bag, we've got a 16 inch low bag, and a 16 inch tall bag. Uh, we'd like to thank DT Power Sports, uh, Uxbridge, Ontario. They graciously loaned us these bags so that we can uh, shoot a little video on them and show people uh, how they fit on the uh, VR1. Each bag comes with this tunnel bag kit. So this is all of the hardware that need to be installed on every, each bag. Uh, regardless of what bag that you're going with, uh, it's the same uh, hardware kit, same process for installation. So we'll. Uh, install that on one of the bags. Uh, tools that you need, you need a 10 mil, uh, 8 mil wrench and socket. Uh, Torx T25 is what you'll need as well. We're going to start the install now. Okay, so we're going to install the uh, tunnel bag kit on this 8 inch tall bag. And uh, let's have a look at the bag first. It's got some nice heavy duty clips on it. Open it up. Got a nice little storage area on the top. It's also zippered, nice seal the top piece, so that that way when this is on top, you're not getting any snow dust to go inside your bag. So inside this, when you get it, there's your hardware kit, your instructions. So that's the same as what we have laid out here. Your bottom mount bag, which is this piece right here, and then you also get uh, in each one. These here are a bunch of dividers that you can place in the bag. You can see in here, it's it's all where Velcro can stick to. So uh, we're not gonna pull these fully out, but we'll just show you. So there's different dividers and they all got Velcro on them so that you can uh, put these in, pull one of these out. So you can see here, if you want it to sit in the corner, you can open these up and it'll Velcro onto the edge of it, right? No matter how you want to do it, it'll set itself up to your liking. So. Cool little setup if you want to put dividers in it. It's the option that is there. All right, now we're going to install the uh, this kit. So step one, you're going to grab your feet that go on the back side of the bag that are going to clip into the existing bracket on the sled. If you have a matrix, they come with the, the bracket already. So you're going to put these feet on like so. Um, this screw here is actually going to come through the inside of the bag and it's going to screw into this section here of it. So we'll go ahead and do that. So inside the bag, you can see there's a zippered part that uh, comes off and then... Uh, right down in there that you're going. That yeah. hole that's down there. You probably can't see it my hands in the way, but... Oh, you're good. Ex so once everything is uh, mounted, then we can zipper that back. And then, uh, oh, that's protected. That's done. Get these, uh, you're gonna grab your other T25s and you're gonna need the nuts for them. Those are the eight mil nuts. Alright, so as you can see, those are mounted in there. So just tighten up, you don't need to over tighten them. Just snug them up nice. So, your next step, you're going to grab your base mounting bracket. These here were zip tight on, as you saw, we cut them off. Um, make sure you line them up right. Then, you're going to grab your 10 mil bolts, stick those through, grab your nut. Same thing, everything you got to reach to the inside to put it on. Alright, 
right, so your next step, um, just grab an impact for this here. It's just as easy. Um, T25, you got your four here. So you can see here you got one, two, three, four. So just put these in. So these ones here are the ones that have a little bit of a flange on them. So just like that you can see, one, two, three, four, there's your inside, one, two, three, four. So that's everything installed on the bag. So now your next step would be to do that up. You're all done on the inside of the bag. Now your next step is uh, these rubber grommets that go in. So you're going to do one in here. Just twist them into place. Yeah, I suggest to use soapy water in the uh, installation manual, but uh, Colton here, professional installation. Give it a good turn and a little bit of a push as you're doing it, and they'll usually sit themselves in. Spoke too soon. Or did he? <laughs> there you go, you got your four in there. That just protects uh, from Scratching rubbing the tunnel. the tunnel, yeah. So, now that we're at this point, the bag is all taken care of. So we can leave that now and we're gonna move on to the sled for the mounting posts. So uh, the next thing we're going to do, um, if you do have a matrix, um, you'll see, or if you're just running a single bag, it depends when you read through the instructions, you'll see they come with two different sets. This one here has a square piece that goes on the actual track, this one doesn't. Um, for the new matrix sleds, we're going to be using the ones that have the square in them. Yeah, so just so you see on the machine here, on the matrix, there's two of these uh, indents here. One there and one there. This is a 137, so it's got two. Uh, this bracket fits in there at the proper spacing. So if you've got the uh, eight inch lock and ride flex bag, uh, it's going to fit in here. You got the 16 inch bag, it's going to fit here. If you have an axis or a different, there was only one indent in the middle, so you would use this, pop it in and put it in position. So. I'm going to drop that in there. So you're going to grab T-slots here and slide them in. Just to your rough area there when you lay it out, you can kind of see what they sit at. So like so, you're going to move it till you feel it sit in there like that. Same thing on this side. Place this in. Like Jay just said, you can see that piece there it fits in there perfectly. So put it over the two bolts and then just move it, there you go, it's right in there. So next thing is uh, 10 mil. I'm just going to tighten these up. Alright, we've gone ahead and mounted the uh, rear post the same way that we mounted the front. And now we'll show you how to actually uh, mount the bag on the machine. So there's your two front feet that sit underneath from the seat there, you can see they just sit in like that. And you're going to grab, you can see you can pull up on here both sides are the same. So I'm squeezing at the same time on both sides. So you can see I'm, I can lift it up right now on the post, let go, and it's solid. Nice. Not anywhere. Nice little setup. This one here we did a little setup for you so you can see how you would actually have it. Unzip it, with, put a couple dividers in couple things of oil so you can uh, fit a couple uh, liters of oil in there and there's still uh, there's some other dividers you can use but you can still put lots of stuff you can put some t-shirts whatever you know underwear socks stuff like that an overnight bag uh, remember this is just a single bag this is the eight inch tall so um, it does fit a fair amount of stuff and you can carry some oil in it as well since Polaris doesn't currently have anything 
for carrying oil. Um, so here is the uh, eight inch small bag. So it's uh, not as tall as that. You'll see here, so this is another option you can do. You got your other feet, you can see they actually mount, they're gonna go right into this existing bag. So when you put this bracket on, you can see this slides right into there. Same thing, lift these up and you can actually just get it to sit right into it, just like that. So now that bag's not coming out of there. It's all part of it. To take it off, you just quickly pull it up. So it's actually a pretty quick little system, just like that. It's quick things. If you have all your stuff on, at the end of the day, you get to your hotel, you literally undo that, lift it off, lift that up, lift it off. So that there is a, a two bag option. Obviously you could run two eight, eight inch tall, two eight inch small, whatever you want. Here is the 16 inch tall. So same thing, uh, you're gonna put these feet in. If you notice right now, we have the posts from the short bags from the eight inch in there. There is a cutout that's in the bag right here. That there is gonna sit in there. So you don't have to remove those. It's just a good little setup. That's it, there you go. So you got your 16 inch bag with the front post mounts and you can still put it on. No problem, open this thing up, tons of room in here. Same as the front, uh, as the other ones on the eight inch. Nice little zipper pocket there. Open this up, boom, there you go. So there is lots of room. We're just kind of giving you a couple little ideas. I mean, if you're going on a really long trip and you want to bring oil with you, you could pack this in there some way so that you can have all your clothes in around it. I mean, I would put this in another bag or uh, maybe zip lock it or something like that. Either way, vacuum seal it. But you could fit, I mean, for a big trip, you could fit a big jug of oil in there too, right? Yeah, and this has dividers. Uh, they're just, yeah. yeah. There's dividers there. We just left Same the as bag. the other bag. Uh, I mean, it comes with a lot of dividers, so small and large ones. So you could easily set this bag up to accommodate many different things. We just wanted to, uh, Put a little video to show you. I mean, that's uh, that's the big uh, four-liter jug. I mean, you could take two of these, two of your one-liters. You could stick them in here easily. Yeah, right? just make a little corner section. Yeah, you can make a little corner section. Grab your dividers, still lots velcro of them, them in. I mean, you could. <laughs> to me, if you really wanted to, you could fit. Looks like you probably fit six of them in there. You could go two there two there and two there so you, you could easily fit lots of oil and it's still tons of room for clothes so that's another option um, like you said we're just kind of going over some quick options of what you have to show you how the bags mount um, it's a nice setup it's really clean um, zipper wise too I like how they did it so that way you don't get any snow dust inside all the clips everything's heavy duty on it like these are huge clips um, I mean they snap in good this bag is definitely not going to be going anywhere um, your everything fit and finish on it. All their stuff's really improved, and it's on there tight. Very like I solid said, on there. You want to? You're at, you're at the hotel and you want to undo it. You're done. You just grab it by your handle and take it in your room. So it is a good good setup. They got these rubber feet on here, so they're not gonna. You can actually see where the feet sit, right there. So they're not gonna rub through on your tunnel like rubber. So it's. Really smart setup they got. So once again, I'll just kind of show you. Just as easy as it is, pull up like that and, and it's on. All right. Well, thank you very much, DT Power Sports, again, for uh, allowing us to use these bags to uh, demonstrate. And uh, if everyone wants to uh, subscribe to our channel, like this video, a lot more content to come. Thank you.